And now, CBS Boar Sports with Clay Williams. For the past few years, the NCAA baseball schedule has synced up with the high school baseball schedule so that practice begins on the same day for both. Today is that day, and the excitement for a new season was felt from one end of the valley to the other. CBS 4 Sports reporter Joe Bowling has the story. No better place to be on a bright sunny day than the opening day of baseball season at the college level and high school here in the state of Texas. First, we'll start with the college UTRGV. This team enters play in the Western Athletic Conference for a third straight year, and yet another approach from the first two. We completed the first year of the WAC with almost, you know, almost a championship year, and then we did some things last year, uh, a little complacent, a little going through the motions kind of stuff, which uh, led to, uh, to a dismal year. The Vaqueros have veterans in the mix who gained experience last season, even though it was their first year at the college level. This year I actually have an idea about what I'm going to do. Last year I was a um, position player slash pitcher, and I would bullpen catch, and this year I'm just str uh, strictly pitcher. Thus, the view this year is not to be surprised if once again young guns are playing in big games. Freshmen will have... Uh... We'll have a lot of time. We've got some quality kids in this year. This also, they're freshmen. Pablo Ortiz from Laredo, uh, Luis Acosta um, from close by. So, I mean, the freshmen are going to play a, uh, an important role, especially on, on the mound. It's just something you think of as, like, ever since you're a kid playing in Division One baseball and getting the experience to play in a program like this. For Luis Acosta, last year he was with these guys at the high school level, Brownsville veterans. They hit the field today as the highest ranked team in the state polls from the Rio Grande Valley. We're here, we're determined, we're ready. Ready, that is, to enter a season with a new coach and a humble view. Well, you, you feel good, you know, you feel good about what you have going into the season, you know, and then you know that other teams are probably wondering, you know, how these guys are going to do. From high school to college this day, just couldn't get here soon enough. Oh, man, it's it's just, it's crazy how fast it's been, but, I mean, I'm, I'm also blessed to, to just have this last season with all my senior ball club. Reporting from the opening day of baseball season, I'm Joe Bowling, CBS 4 Sports and ValleyCentral.com. Thanks, Joe. In the college ranks, the Vaqueros will practice 17 times over the next 20 days before they hit the road to open the season at Abilene Christian on February 19th. The home opener, the Al Ogletree Classic, comes in the end of February. High school baseball, they'll start scrimmaging on the February 8th, the 22nd for the first games, and then the playoffs will begin May 5th. June 8th through the 11th is the state tournament.